Welcome back and before we continue I want to create a couple of new videos so I've created a new demo video just that has a little bit more movement so it's easier for you guys to see when something is happening. Um, so I'm going to grab the Miro, I have a newer version of that Miro video converter, it's still free. I'm just going to grab that demo video, drop it right inside and I'm going to select what formats which basically I'm going to click on the format menu. I'm going to select video, I'm going to select, I already have the mp4 so I'm going to select the AUG. I'm going to convert to AUG, and then I'm going to select the uh, WebMD. I could use the HD version, convert that to WebMD. Notice how it's on the new version of Miro. You have actually a couple of selections where you could actually create custom variations for mobile devices, um, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to create the basic video players. All right, so once we created the video players and the conversion is completed, I'm just going to click on the show files to get the files, and I'm just going to grab them and send them right over into our document. Now, one thing to note also in the settings of Miro, if you click onto the settings, you'll see that you could create a thumbnail as well. I've created a thumbnail in advance, so I'm just going to grab one of the thumbnails. It really doesn't matter which one, so I'm just going to rename it uh, just as PNG. And I'm going to grab that demo, that PNG, and just drop that in the same folder. We could close that up, and now we have the demo um, in all the different variations and the demo.png. Now, something to note, if you worked with the older converter and the newer converter, now that we're in the HTML file itself, we're going to, and I created a new HTML file, which is called video-js.html. If you're a ZeroToGeek.com member, you could download the source files. If not, just try to follow along with us and type as we're typing along. So one, one thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that the file names are correct. So I'm just going to change um, the WIP file to be demo, and I'm going to change the WIP file to be demo and demo one more time. Now I'm going to get rid of all the detailed Kodak information because the browsers are smart enough to figure that out on their own. So I'm just going to leave the information that just tells them what file format it is, which one is the mp4, one is the og, and one is the webm. Now all that's left for me is to make sure that I have the right file names. So I'm going to go inside of the file and just start with the og one, copy the full file name, and just make sure that I have the full file right name because the names change in the different versions of Miro um, as more file formats are adding in they kind of modernize the way they they format the names you could or rename the files that Miro um, converter gives you or just manually update them as we just did right now together now last last but not least before we continue onwards is I want to update the video size which was it's actually going to be if I just open up my properties here for a second get info uh, we'll see that the video format is 640 by 360 so I'm gonna update that to 640 by 360 because that's our new video um, I want to change the poster as well from poster.jpg let's check what's the form what's the name of our file which is demo.png so I'm gonna change that now into demo.png we're gonna save that all that's left before we start working really on our JavaScript and creating something that's a little bit more dynamic is just to make sure that the files are still running on Firefox and Safari and if you're on Windows make sure it's working also on Windows but we do know that it does work so we're just going to double check it once we'll see that a new file has been added the new the new screen has been added as well and once we click on video play um, nothing happens But if we try this out now on Safari as well, and we click on refresh, and we click on play, we'll see that it does work on Safari, but we're having some sort of a problem in, Firefo in, in Safari. So Firefox is working, but Safari is not. So let's try to dig a little bit deeper into that. Before that, I'm just going to click on refresh one more time. I can see the CSS is not being loaded, but that's fine. Um, and, and our problem is must be that our file is just not loading up correctly. So let me just go back into the files and confirm that we are working with the right files. So demo.mov is the file name that we're working with. If I go into the finder, I'll see, okay, my mistake is that it's actually .mv4. And this is one of those stuff that it kind of made me nervous because oh, we thought that everything works, but really this happens to developers all the time. So I prefer not editing these type of videos because it makes you see that these type of mistakes happen all the time as a developer. 
All right, so now that we discovered what the problem was, I could go ahead and just rename the file to be MP4, save the file up again, and now we could go back again into Safari and see why wasn't it working in Safari. Now, how did I know it must be something to do with the file name or the file format? First is I already knew that it's an H.264 file. Now before I continue talking, let's just make sure that it loads. When I click on play, you'll see that now it works on Safari as well. Now, the reason why I knew, I knew it was because it worked in Safari, meaning that the file was working. But our video for, for Safari wasn't working while it was working on Firefox. Meaning that it's probably the video itself, the format that is specific to Apple, it's not, is not working. And the format specific to Apple, as we learned in our previous video, is H.264, which was our MOV file, which actually we wanted it to be an MP4. So all I had to do is rename our file, uh, rename our source inside of our HTML page to get the file to work. All right, now that we got that sorted out, it's time for us to start really building that dynamic JavaScript play and pause, as you can see inside of our preview video inside of this video. All right, so let's get back into our editor. And what I want to do is I want to start first by cleaning up our code a bit. You'll see that in our, and, and I haven't talked about this, uh, although we talk about this in our JavaScript training in general, training in general, we're going to have open our console at all times. The way you get into the console is if you have the developer version of Safari or Firefox console, then you have access to it just by right clicking and inspecting element and then selecting the console area. If you don't know how to do it, um, just ask us and we'll redirect you to one of our JavaScript training videos where we show you how to work with inspectors. Uh, but we're going to assume that you know how to set that up and we're going to continue from there. And a lot of our training now depends on the fact that you could open your console and see what's going on. So one of the things that we could see in our console right now is that the file failed to load our CSS file. The reason for that is, is because we don't really have a CSS file. We were just showing that as a demo as we were going on in our training. So I'm just going to delete that external CSS file. And let's just clean up our code a bit. I'm going to delete all these ex extra information that was in our base video as well.